this is Cool Tools. I'm your guide, Sam. I'm a conservation biologist and science educator with the National Park Service here at Cabrillo National Monument in San Diego, California. I study so many different species in the wild, like birds, reptiles, and amphibians. But today we're gonna show you how I study snakes. It's my job to preserve and protect nature and Every week I hold a snake talk with my buddy Wilson here. He's a gopher snake. Did you know that snakes are actually pretty shy and solitary creatures that have zero interest in biting you? In fact, he's kind of like a puppy dog. Right, Wilson? <laughs> right. Today we're gonna talk about how we catch snakes. And these are my tools. We are really interested in about taking information so that we can do a health checkup on the ecosystem. I'm gonna show you how these tools work, but in the wild. So let's take a step outside of the she shed and I can show you where the action's at. It's cool tools time. This is how we track animals in the wild. It's through a method called radio telemetry. There is transmitter, and the transmitter is what we put on the animal. And what it does is it sends a radio signal out into the wild. For snakes, we actually implant that. And then the other parts are the receiver, right? We need to be able to find that radio signal. Aha, I see a snake. This item we call a snake trap, but it doesn't hurt them. And the cones are really where the magic is at. One side of the cone is bigger than the other, right? Um, so snakes find it really easy to get inside the cone. And you have this cone here that's raised up above ground level, and it's a tiny little opening that snakes kind of have to zero in on. So once they're inside, they're kind of caught in here. Let's say we have a snake in our snake trap, put a little rubber snake in there. And so when we catch a snake in our snake trap, this is how we get it out. You take the clips off like this, you stick the bag like over the end of the snake trap. And then you just gently kind of dump the snake into the bag. And now find where its head is. And you'll just gently kind of pinch behind the head, which immobilizes the snake without hurting it. Once you have that, pull the snake out. Um, so the first thing we do is we actually measure the snake here from the tip of the nose down to the end of its tail. Once you have the measurement, then you might want to weigh the snake. Let's put them back in the bag here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this calibrated scale and you're gonna clip that scale to the bag. You pull it up by the end and it'll give you the weight of the snake. The best part of my job is tracking the data. That means all of the information that we took earlier, right? The sex of the snake, the weight, the length, any other notes like how it's doing, its condition, its health. We keep track of that and we write it down on our data sheet, which we then input into our computer. We can compare from year after year. I have always loved nature. And I had the great fortune of growing up in a beautiful place called West Yellowstone, Montana with Yellowstone National Park basically being my ultimate backyard. I got to go out and immerse myself in that incredible nature. I got to look at um, eagles, grizzly bears, and wolves. And then I realized that beautiful nature is actually at risk. And so I knew that I wanted to not only study it and immerse myself in it, but also to protect it. If you like animals and you like nature, then conservation biology is the way to go. You get to spend your time preserving and protecting these awesome species like Wilson here. All you need is grit, passion, and a little bit of hard work. Right, Wilson? Right. Go to goldieblocks.com to see the rest of Curiosity Camp and to earn your badges. Keep watching Goldie Blocks every Wednesday and Friday for more videos like this one. Stay curious, fellow campers. A special thanks to Lida Hill Philanthropies for making this episode possible.